how do you focus on outcomes, especially in, in organizations today where you want to grow top line revenue, profitable top line revenue, and you want to grow sales, and you want to expand wallet share? Well, critical success factors are, one, you must use your tools, but don't overuse your tools because you can consume yourself with the amount of data that we're producing. You need to be very specific and very strategic. You need to have your account plans. You need to basically look at your performance and look at predictive analytics. What can you be doing better? But then the most critical success factor that you need is collaboration. We're living in a world where it's a global economy and customers want us to act globally and they want us to bring a diverse train of thought. So as you're collaborating, don't collaborate just with salespeople. Collaborate cross-functionally, cross-geographies, cross-regionally, because you'll find that you'll be able to solve problems better for your customers, but also you'll be able to close deals faster. So the best place for sales leaders to start, if they're not outcome-focused today and they want to evolve it's really important that they start with business basics. So if they're calling in a specific segment or a specific territory, learn your customer. Learn about your customer, their market, their segment, their strategy. If they're a public corporation, read the chairman's report. That's, that's your Bible, and it's, it's actually your secret decoder ring onto what your customer needs. So. That's piece one. Piece number two, look for a mentor or a sponsor. Look for someone who is great at strategic selling to actually sponsor you, mentor you, teach you the ropes. Share best practices. That's something else that we do um, in all my sales teams that I've managed. I ask the sellers that close those big deals to share their best practices. How did they do it? How did they do it? It took six months. Okay, what, what happened during those six months? Because it wasn't, it wasn't all uh, roses and, and, and cookies during that time frame. There were some pretty hard speed bumps. So how did you approach the speed bumps? So I think if, you, if a salesperson wants to develop, if they want to become an outcome-based sell seller, they have to take it upon themselves to actually explore and, and expand their, their knowledge.